Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I hope you are all having an amazing day so far. I'm going to be seeing what's manifesting for you at this moment, what is going on in your current situation, and what is it that Spirit wants you to know and be aware of at this moment. So whenever you do come across this reading, it will be the right time for you to see it. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment, and also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you're interested in receiving notifications for future videos, and follow me on all social media as well, TikTok, Instagram, I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms oh wow Scorpio I'm channeling some messages for you and I'm seeing that there's some sort of um, chapter like major major chapter that is ending in your life like literally Life-changing, I'm seeing school or graduations, I'm seeing, or literally spiritual, like graduation, I'm getting that, I'm hearing major, I'm hearing that you're doing the impossible, making something that seems impossible possible, and a, some sort of movement. You have stepped into your own power and decided to take control of your life here with your free will. I'm seeing that you have been more confident in yourself. You have done a lot of things that you felt passionate for, going after what it is that you want. And seeing that opening, a pathway light at the end of the tunnel I'm seeing that you have been suppressing some emotions, though. There's been a new emotional beginning, new potential, new love that has um, been offered to you. Potential for some sort of new relationship here. I'm hearing new friendship. You saw this person, though, as if they have been stagnant. when it, Someone around you has been stagnant when it comes to... Speaking the truth about a third party situation is like you knew or you knew that something was going on here and they were being impulsive. I'm seeing some sort of love triangle that they haven't spoken of but that you're pretty aware of. So I'm seeing right now you have done a lot of like investigations, you've been looking for the truth and thinking more rationally about certain situations here. Thinking with your mind instead of your heart. I'm hearing judge, making a judgment. A decision, I'm seeing an outside decision being made regarding someone's freedom i'm seeing imprisonment a situation that someone has been stuck held back in there's someone who you have a lot of unconditional love for regardless of what has happened regardless of um mistakes i'm seeing you have a lot you are the type of person that has a lot of love to give I'm hearing it's like your mind says no, but your heart says yes. Wanting to heal things, wanting there to be a peaceful resolution and having some sort of forgiveness. Having a conversation and also being patient. Patient with forgiveness, patient with allowing someone's healing, your healing, their healing. Being patient with things. Your love is patient. 
but I'm seeing that you're also starting to think about things more rationally. It's like reality check, a wake-up call that you're kind of going through right now. A wake-up call that is, you know, needed for your growth within a relationship, within a commitment, in order for there to be a celebration. And I'm seeing... I'm seeing gathering, coming together with someone. I'm seeing moving. You're moving homes. So you're not going to be in the same place. Like you're moving somewhere else. So let's take a look at this person. This person looks like it's like this chapter has ended. Like it's time to close a chapter in this situation. I'm seeing this person is wanting to wanting to bring some truth to a situation about an affair. Bringing things to light. Having clarity and transparency about things. They see that you are very you have a lot of emotions. I'm seeing Ace of Cups, but this person is looking at you like you're someone brand new in their life. So it kind of looks like to me that this person has been with been in a relationship or something, and then they met you. And now it's like, oh, the, something is something's gotta change. Cause this can't go on forever. Um, there's a situation that they're kind of going through, which is a lot of work and effort and not much in return. And they feel like it's time to close a chapter with that. But this person, it's like they're in a situation like for their own self gain or they, they go about things for their own self gain. They're being deceptive. They're being de de deceptive. It's like they'll say some things and then and then leave out other things. And so I'm seeing you coming to a place where you feel like you deserve more. Like this isn't all that you expected it to be. Turning your back on this person who is putting you in a third party situation putting you in a, an affair or basically making you like an, another person on the side. I see you leaving that behind, starting over. I'm seeing you completely starting over. Like literally like new person, new house, moving, starting over completely. Journey. You're going to be traveling. This start is like a whole new start. Like I see you moving out of a home and moving into a new home, completely starting over in order to be happy. I see you making a choice by listening to yourself and listening to your intuition. It's like you knew that eventually you had to leave or walk away. I'm seeing secretly moving away, walking away, in order for you to be happy, in order for you to have your wish fulfillment with someone else or your wish fulfillment um, in life in general is by leaving this situation behind. I'm seeing this person will not be able to rest or it's like they are in the, they're delaying their healing and their recovery the longer that they keep this this thing going on here. Holding back their feelings. You're going to have more options. I'm seeing love options. Opportunities. Different possibilities. Opening up your options. And contemplating something that you feel intu intuitively drawn towards. I see an opportunity or an offer coming back around also. So the decision will be yours. 
the numbers that are popping up, we have 35, we have 38, we have 29, and we have 20. What am I saying? 10. But 27, I was about to say 27. So that may be significant. Somebody's age could, somebody could be 27, or something had happened on the 27th or around that time. But with that being said, this is what I'm gathering. If it resonated with you, let me know. And again, if you are interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. And with that being said, I hope that you have an amazing and blessed day. Bye, guys.